Hey everyone, it's Zeke. In this video, I'm going to go over how to fully install and set up Windows onto your mining rig. I'll be explaining how to set up first Windows, and then I'll be explaining what settings to change to optimize your rig for mining. I'll also be showing you how to make sure that your mining starts right away when you log into your computer. So keep watching to the end to figure out how that is done. This is useful for mining on your gaming PC as well, because you can start up your computer as normal and then have it mine right away so you won't forget about it ever. So the first thing you want to do is head over to this website on Microsoft to download Windows. Now, you're going to have to do this on a separate computer because you don't have anything installed on your mining rig yet. I'm sure it's pretty obvious, but just putting that out there. So for Windows 10, you can download that here. But if you want to use Windows 11, it's on the left here. That doesn't really matter which one you choose. It's more of like how you want to be able to navigate around your computer. Some people don't like Windows 11 because it's like they changed a lot of things about it for like exploring like settings and whatnot. But as for mining performance, it doesn't really affect it that much. So I'm just going to go with Windows 11 because I use it on my personal computer. So what you want to do is go down to create Windows 11 media and hit download now. And once that is downloaded, drag it onto your desktop and then just start and run it. And now something's going to pop up for asking if you want to use it or not and just hit yes. And then this should pop up. And then as this is running, you want to make sure you have a USB stick ready and you want to plug it into your computer. And as it's plugged into your computer, you want to make sure that it shows up right here and it should have a letter assigned to it. Now, if it's not showing up here, then you have to do some troubleshooting to make sure it is here. And then once that is ready, you just hit accept. And then here you can just hit the recommended options, but you can also change your language. So if you're using something other than English, then you can use like French or Spanish, but I'm just going to go with English, keep the recommended options for this PC. And then for here, choose which media to use, hit USB flash drive, and it has to be at least eight gigabytes so make sure it's plugged into your computer Hit next and then it should show up right here and make sure those letters the same one that you saw in the Explorer here hit next it's gonna get a few things ready and then from there it's gonna start to download Windows 11 now this might take I think it took me 10 minutes to do this I've already installed it onto my USB right here so once it's done you should see all this stuff in here and then it's ready to go so yeah this is gonna have to run for like maybe 10 or 15 minutes depends on your PC for me it took 10 minutes so you're gonna have to sit here for a while but once it is ready and it's good to go. You can take it out of your computer that you just set it up on and plug it into your mining rig. And then after it's plugged into your mining rig, you can go ahead and boot your mining rig. So turn the power button on. And then as it's turning on, you're gonna have to spam a certain button. Now it should show a screen of like which button to press to show the startup menu or the BIOS features. If you're starting your mining rig for the first time and it has a new CPU in it, then it should bring you to this menu anyways. So you just run the setup process, but just figure out how to get into your BIOS. For me on my motherboard, it's the delete key. So I'm just gonna be pushing that and then I should be in the BIOS. And then in the BIOS, you have to configure the boot menu. So I'm gonna drag this 16 gigabyte USB stick to the top on the screen and then that means it's the first priority that my PC is going to be booting off of and that's what we want to install Windows on this and while we're here in the BIOS section there is a couple settings you're going to be changing for mining some of them are essential and some of them are optional so for the essential features the first ones are in system agent now every motherboard is different so you might have to search around for your BIOS settings but yeah these couple settings are very important for mining especially with multiple GPUs on your system so for me under system agent there is a memory configuration option so I'm going to be changing my primary display to CPU graphics now this is so that I can plug in my display cable right into the motherboard and not into the one of the GPUs. This just makes it easier because if you're like changing settings or unplugging GPUs while it's running, then you're always going to have one display with your CPU into your monitor, whatever you're going to be using. But this only works if your CPU has integrated graphics. So how do you figure that out? Well, if you have an Intel CPU, it should have an F at the end of the thing. So like Intel i5-9400F, that means there's no integrated graphics. But if it's Intel i5-9400 without an F, then you do have integrated graphics. Then as for AMD, there should be a G at the end of your processor. So like Ryzen 5 5600G, that means you have integrated graphics. If there's no G, then you do not have integrated graphics and this setting doesn't really apply to you. And then the next one is peg port configuration and go to PCIe x16 underscore one link speed and set that to gen one. Now this will limit your game performance. So if you are gonna be gaming on this PC while it's set up for mining, then just keep this as auto. But if you're not gonna be gaming on it or not really running any GPU intensive games on it, then you can set this to like gen two. But if it's strictly for mining, and you're going to be having multiple GPUs on your system, you have to send this to G generation one. And the last setting is under PCI subsystem settings. You're going to have to turn on above 4G decoding, set that to enabled. Now this is basically change the network map of your motherboard and it's really necessary for running multiple GPUs. Without this, you wouldn't be able to. So make sure that is set to enabled. Then as for the optional settings, there's APM configuration. 
and AC power loss. Set that to power on. Now what this does is basically if your PC loses power from like a power outage, as soon as your motherboard regains power, like as the power comes back on, your PC is going to boot up right away. Now this is important because say you set up your PC to start mining as soon as it's turned on without having to log into it, put in a password, then you can be away from your PC and it's just restarts itself and you're all good to go. Without this on, the power comes back on, your PC is just going to stay off, which is not what you want. So it's optional. I would recommend setting it to on. And then as for the other ones, go to PCH storage configuration and just disable all the SATA hot plugs. So set that to disabled and go to onboard devices configuration and turn HD audio to disabled. Now these are optional because turning off SATA and HD audio basically turns off the physical ports on the motherboard. Some people do this to limit the amount of devices your motherboard has to deal with so that all the focus cores to GPUs, but it also saves a small amount of power consumption having these turned off. It won't make a massive pinch, but if you want to save a little bit of power consumption, then you can go with these options. But make sure the essential features are configured, as I mentioned earlier. So once all that, you can just save and exit all the settings, and then you can boot your mining rig as normal. Now, once it is booted, you should have a install Windows screen on your computer, meaning that your computer has booted off that USB stick. If it's not, then you're going to have to go back into your BIOS and make sure that you set up the boot to your USB that you put the Windows installation media on. But if you set everything up correctly, you should see this screen where it says Windows, and then you just put your language, time, and currency format, and the keyboard but I'm just gonna leave this default and hit next and then here you're gonna install now set up is starting and then here you're gonna set I don't have a product key you don't need to activate Windows for mining you can if you want to but I'm just gonna hit I don't have a product key now here you can select Windows 11 Pro and hit next. Now you might run into an issue where it says this PC can't run Windows 11. Now this happens to me a lot when I try to install Windows. It happened to me when I, after I built my computer and when I tried to set up a mining rig on Windows. So I found out a little trick to bypass this. Otherwise you won't be able to install. I'm not sure if this happens on Windows 10, so you might be good. But for Windows 11, it definitely happens to me. So here's what you do. So on your keyboard, just hit Shift and F10. Now what this will do is it'll open a command prompt. And then what you can do here is type in reg edit stands for registry edit hit enter and that'll bring you to the registry editor now from here go to h key local machine expand that and then go to system go to setup and then on setup right click the folder and hit new key and then you're going to name this lab config all lowercase just hit enter and then in the blank space right click hit new d word 32 bit value and then you're gonna name this bypass TPM check exactly how it's spelled there with the capitals. And then once that is done, hit enter. And then what you're gonna do is double click on it and type in one for the value data, hit okay, and then you're good. Add two more, so new keyword value. And you're gonna name this bypass RAM check exactly how it's spelled here. Hit enter and double click on it again and type in one for the value. And then hit new keyword 32 bit value. The last one is bypass secure boot check now you're gonna have to type it exactly how it's in here there is a capital p so make sure you have that and then once again double click on it and type in one for the value and then once that is done you can x out of all this and then hit the back button and then try to hit next this time and th that should fix everything so just accept the terms hit next and then you shouldn't see this because i already have windows installed on a different ssd on my computer so you should just put install windows only for it and then here you're gonna have to select your ssd now it might not be formatted already so try to look for the drive that has the same amount of storage that you bought it for so say you bought like a 256 gigabyte ssd it should be somewhere around there maybe a little bit less and then if you can't hit the next button you're gonna have to hit format it should be there okay in my case i'm good so once you have your drive selected just hit next and then you should start to install windows now this shouldn't take too long maybe five to ten minutes and then after that is done, your PC may reboot itself. And then there's just a couple last settings you have to set up. First, you have to select which country you're in. I'm in Canada, so I'm going to select Canada. Then you have to set up your keyboard version. I'm just going to hit US and hit yes. And then I'm going to hit skip for add a second keyboard layout. Once that is done, it's just going to check for some updates. And then it's going to ask you to name your device. I'm just going to hit skip for now. And then set up for personal use. Hit next and then press sign in options and then click offline account. And then once that is loaded, just hit skip for now. And then for the name of the device, you can name it whatever you can put it as your name or just type in mining rig or make something up. Doesn't really matter. Just hit next. And then for the password, you don't need to type anything in here. Just type next. Now this is because you want to be able to boot your computer and then not have to log into anything. If this computer is strictly for mining only, then you don't have to put a password. Now, if you do want to be using the computer regularly 
as it's mining, like use it as a computer and a mining rig, then you can set up a Microsoft account as normal and put in a password, like setting up any other computer. But for the purpose of just mining on this computer, follow this tutorial exactly. I will be explaining later in the video, setting up computer as a normal PC and mining. But yeah, after that, just hit no to all these options. These are just random useless options you only have to have on. If you need any of these on later, you can enable them. But for this, you just hit no for all these. And after that, your PC will start to set itself up. It might restart itself a couple times, but just sit through the whole process and you should be ready to go in like five to 10 minutes. But yeah, now Windows is installed and we're on the computer for the first time. So you should be ready to go to set everything up. So let's get right into that. Now there's a bunch of things you go want to change for Windows. The first thing that I recommend is uninstall any useless apps on your computer. So just go to the start menu on the bottom and then go to all apps and then just uninstall by right clicking on any apps that you're not going to be using. Now again, if you're going to be using this PC like normally for mining and as a normal PC, then you don't have to do this. But just to increase the performance of your mining rig, you can go ahead and do this. It just clears up some clutter on your computer. Some of them you won't be able to uninstall, but for the most part you can. There is a couple you can keep like the calculator and notepad, but it's really up to you, personal preference. And once that is done, you want to make sure your computer is up to date. So go to the start menu, type in updates, check for updates. And then under Windows Update, just hit Download Now. Let that run for a bit, it may take a couple minutes. It might say Update Failed after it's done, but you don't really have to worry about that. If you get the majority of the updates out of the way, then you should be good. And you might have to restart your PC, but I'm going to do this at the end, because I just want to get through all this tutorial first, and then I'll restart my PC. Then once everything's updated, there is one more thing you want to do for the updates. So go to the Start menu and type in Services. And then here, scroll down to find Windows Update. Right click on it and hit Properties. Then for startup type, you want to set that to disabled and then hit apply and OK. What this does is that your computer is not going to be updating itself in the background while you're trying to mine because that can affect your performance a little bit. And it also makes sure that your PC won't have to update itself when you boot it up because that can take a while and slow down. Like you can take away from your time for mining. So another thing is your computer may restart itself after an update and that's not what you want. You just want your PC to be left on and mining the whole time. If you do have to update your computer for whatever reason, then you can go into Windows Update and just update it manually. All right, so once the update is taken care of, now we're going to go over a couple other settings you want to change on your computer. So go into the start menu and type in settings. Once you're in here, go all the way to the bottom where it says about. Now it might be different on Windows 10, but this is in Windows 11, so hopefully you can figure out how to navigate through this. Where it says related links, go to advanced system settings, and then this is gonna pop up. Hit settings where it says performance, and then right here you want to adjust for best performance. Hit apply. Now this is gonna change a couple things. You might see that the text is different, and basically it changes your computer settings so that it's not using any resources on other things that make your computer look better. So it may make your computer look a little bit worse, but it's definitely gonna be performing better. Now a lot of gamers do this to increase their FPS in games, so it also applies to mining. And then while we're here, go to the advanced tab and where it says virtual memory, hit change. Now this you're gonna need a calculator for. Uncheck automatically manage paging file sizes for all drives. And where it says custom size, click on that. And then here, you are gonna have to find the total amount of memory size for all the GPUs on your computer. So open up the calculator. And if you have like one eight gigabyte card, then you just type in eight. But if you have like an eight gigabyte card, a 12 gigabyte card, a 24 gigabyte card, like a 3090, and then let's say a six gigabyte card, you're gonna have 50 gigabytes total of memory in the GPUs. And you have to multiply that by a thousand. So that's in megabytes. So you have 50,000 megabytes. And then take this number, Control C and then paste that into here and set it for both initial size and maximum size and hit set. Actually, you can't have commas in here, so don't copy, just type the number in and then hit set and then close that. But for me, I have an eight gigabyte card only on this computer, so I'm just gonna type in 8,000 and set that and then hit okay. And then you will have to restart your PC, but again, I'm gonna do this at the end. Then you can close all that stuff, go back to settings and then in the settings, click back to system and then go to power. Now there will be a little thing here. I've already done this. So just set this to high performance instead of balance or whatever it shows here. And then go to screen and sleep. And here you want to set both of these to never. This is so that the actual computer doesn't turn off ever or go to sleep. And then your screen will always stay on. Now you can set the screen to turn off after 15 minutes or so, but I'm just going to keep it as never. After that, you can close that, go back to the start menu and type in control panel. And then once you're here, just go up to power options. And then here, you wanna make sure it'll be on balance by default. So go to high performance. You might have to show additional stuff here and it's down here, but make sure it's on high performance. Now this will make sure that it's not saving any power and limiting the power consumption given to your GPUs. You wanna make sure that it's the highest performance that you can use. 
and then show additional plan settings here and make sure these are both set to never here. And then once you're here, hit change advanced power settings. This will pop up and go to PCI Express down here, click the little plus, and then where it says link state power management, make sure that is set to off and then hit apply and okay. And then here you can just hit save changes and then close that down. Now that's all the settings you're gonna have to change. The last thing is to set up the mining software to work with Windows. And for the purpose of this, I'm gonna be using T-Rex Miner. So I'm gonna download this here. And then it's gonna say that the file is dangerous. So hit Control J if you're in Chrome and then hit Keep Dangerous File. It might be a little bit different in Microsoft Edge. So just figure out how to do that. And then hit Show in Folder. This will pop up. So just drag it to your desktop and then right click on it and hit Extract All. And then I'm just gonna extract this to my desktop. Once that is done, you should have the folder open up for you. And then this is the folder here. Now I will be making Making a video on specifically how to set up the mining software for Windows so it should pop up on the top right hand corner of this video and it will also be in the description so make sure you watch that because I will not be explaining how to set it up in here now what we're gonna do here is make sure that this mining software starts up as soon as the computer is booted now there's a couple ways to do this I'm gonna go over the easiest way to do it I've tried all the different ways and I found this to be the best so what you want to do is go to this search menu and type in task scheduler open that up now Click on this task schedule library here and hit create task, not basic task, hit create task. And you can name this whatever. I'm just going to name it T-Rex startup. Doesn't really matter what it is. Then once you're in here, you have to make sure it's run with highest privileges and then run only when users logged on. And then you can also change this to Windows 10. Doesn't really matter, but it's just a good option. Then up here where it says triggers, click on that, create new. And then it's going to show this. You're going to have to set it to at startup. So this starts when the computer is booted. Now a good practice is to delay the task for 30 seconds. This is just better for the CPU and the rest of your computer because it gives it a chance to like warm up basically before it's ready to start mining. Just hit okay. And then where it says actions, hit new. And then action start a program. And then where you download a T-Rex miner or whatever miner you're gonna be using, go find that folder. For me, it's here. And then I'm going to select the batch file that I'm gonna be using and this hit open. Then just hit okay. And then for the conditions, make sure that this start the task only if the computer is on AC power, make sure that is selected. And then go to settings and make sure allow tasks to be run on demand is checked. Everything else you want to disable that Then hit okay. And that is all set. So now your computer should boot up the miner software as soon as it's logged onto. Now this will work if your computer does not have a password on it but one thing i want to note is that if you want to be able to boot your pc up and have it start mining right away if it has a password on it then there's a couple options for you so go back to here hit properties and then when you're here you can set run whether user is logged in or not and what that will do is basically it's going to open the mining software in the background before you even logged on to your account so say you have restore ac power loss on and your computer boots up by itself after power outage but you want it to keep mining right away even though you have a password on your computer you have to select this option and hit okay it's going to ask you for your password so just type that in and then hit okay now the only downside with this is that you're not going to be able to see the mining software running on the computer once it's booted up it's going to be running in the background so just take that into account i searched the whole internet to try and find a way to view the mining software after the computer booted but it's just hidden by windows because of this so yeah i'm just going to keep this as run only when the user logged on because i'll be setting this up without a password and with that set you could basically start your computer it's going to log into windows right away because there's no password set and then it's going to start the mining software right away so that's a really cool option to have all right so that is basically everything you need to know about setting up windows on your mining rig now if you don't know how to set up the mining software i'll have a video on the top right hand corner explaining how to set everything up it'll also be in the description this video is just strictly how to put windows onto your computer and set up all the settings and as you can see if you watch my hive os tutorial video i'll also have that in the description check that one out because it's so much easier to install hive os onto your computer and use it after it's installed than windows because windows just has so much much more to set up with it. It's not really built for mining as well as HiveOS is. HiveOS is a specific mining operating system and that's why it's so good. And it's so easy to install. It takes like one minute to set up the HiveOS USB stick and you can literally run it off that USB stick and then it takes like another five minutes to actually start mining. With Windows it takes a lot longer and it's actually taken me a lot longer to make this video to set up Windows instead of just setting up the HiveOS video. So if you want to use Windows that's great. You can still go with it. It's not anything wrong with that. But if you are a more serious miner and want to use something better then I definitely recommend using HiveOS. But anyways, that's going to wrap up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment down below and check out the other videos I've made on mining in the description. And make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to see more crypto and crypto mining related videos. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.